So we're trying to cut off the small ones. Not all at once, but we'll cut a few. No, 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 no. <laughs> once they get a taste for it, they will come back to the patch. Um, <laughs> you so wanted to tuck it. Um, because we want to make sure we're focusing on these guys. You can see how big this thing is. There's one by my feet here, that's a little smaller. There's one over here. There's one, oh, I'll have to walk around over there. It is. That one's really nice. You can see size wise. So there's at least three plants of giant pumpkins in here. And that's the that's the big big guy. There, the first big one. This one, and then there's one over here on the end. Watch the tomatillo plant. Oh, and the <laughs> little pie pumpkin here. But here's the other one. Really nice color on that one. And then we have summer squash at the end here. And two more summer squash on the end of the corn there. I don't see a lot more little ones. We cut off a rotten one. Need to pick that summer squash. Well, we need to spray some BT at the bases on the vines for the vine borer. And then we'll probably also fertilize these guys. Um, we haven't been good at feeding it. I don't know, Jay wanted to cut this one in the back there off and this guy here off to get focused on these big guys. I think it'd be fun to have like, you know, four or five big ones. I get denied. You got denied? You don't listen to what I say. <laughs> um, which one, this guy and this other one are on the same vine? Is that what we figured out? And that one, and the, these other two are on the same vine? I think so. So we could, in theory, cut these two other ones off to focus one, one big one on one plant and keep these other two big ones going. I would cut one of these two off. It's sad, but like you gotta, if, if you want to get a really big pumpkin, you gotta I know. Cut. We should have cut them off a while ago. I almost like the coloring of the yellow one on that one better. I agree. All right, so cut this guy off. You win. I don't want to cut it off, but. It's leaking. Yeah, that's why they say to not, not to do it all at once because I'll bleed out. Holy crap. <laughs> you want to go weigh it? All right, we're gonna go weigh this one. Yeah. Here's another seven pounds of tomatoes. The scale can go up to 30 pounds and it can just keep rotating around up to three times. It's been kind of fun. We got it at an antique shop last year and Jace was able to find a little eye hook. That means that I've harvested 16 pounds today of tomatoes. Plus, Jace was snacking on them as we were walking through here.
Good. So the plan right now is to empty that down because it's partially composted and put it into the big pile that we have down here in our lower lot and mix it in. And then that way, as we get a lot of the really good food scraps, as we're cooking and making a whole bunch of sauce and pickling and everything, then this will allow us to have space that's a little more contained from the animals. <laughs> um, don't really want to attract a bunch of bear and uh, stuff up to the property. Um, to this pile here, we already get plenty. So Jay's gonna empty this down here. And that will um, mix in with this other compost pile we have um, been staging here as well and then we'll be able to have this full empty container to leverage now. So there is a little bit of fresh stuff, mostly it's on onions. Shouldn't be a big problem there. And some paper towels. I think we'd added some mulch in there and stuff like that earlier this spring. This pile over here was loaded with worms last time I was over here. It's got some sticks, we'll probably have to filter this out. Let's see what I can find. Oh, there's some worms right there. Looking pretty healthy. Lots of life in there. So we started using some of this pile, but we do need to make a sifter with some uh, wire mesh. Completely gone inside. What a shame. We'll get a little bit out of it, but 